Okay, so basically, um, my camera ran out of battery, yeah. so we're on Claire's iPhone. So yeah. I apologise. I should have brought over my little um, plug-in microphone. No, the just, you just know the clip work on. on this iPhone. Oh, that's on my Samsung. iPhone, isn't it? They've we need removed the headphone jack. So we need, Samsung. Sitting... we need a Samsung. So basically, we're on an <laughs> iPhone now. iPhone. <laughs> <laughs> On my iPhone now. Because we filmed EGX all day on my Canon, didn't we? So we, we kind of ran out of battery. Yeah. So, no, what was the question? The question was, where oh. has my cowboy hat gone? Oh, my God. So, yeah, when I first met Claire, the, I've actually never seen this cowboy hat. Mm. I've just seen it in a picture. Mm. So where is it? So, Hashtag because Christmas. I've moved from house to house to house, <laughs> from city to city. So it's moved about a bit. I mean, I've had that cowboy hat for, like... 11 years or I would have had it for 11 years because well, I must have known you about 10 then it was like 2007 I think that picture was taken because you said I've known you about 10 years yeah and um, so a couple of years after I met you so 2008 9 10 about 2010 I think um I opened a box where it was and it was all squashed and ripped so <gasps> from all the moving yeah. it's dead it's dead R.I.P. so yeah so it is ruined and it's in the bin and I haven't bought one since I can't believe that. I do need a new one. Because that that's the famous hat, it how I know you. Hat. Yeah. Even though I don't remember what colour this shirt was, apparently. No, I, got blue, <laughs> I thought it was white, hat. but <laughs> right, isn't it? It'd be blue. Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, do this from Darren. Oh, Darren, you're such a troll. <laughs> Darren H. Darren. Why can't you drive on GTA? <laughs> Why can't you drive on GTA? <laughs> I, I can! They drive into me. <laughs> The, like, That's what they all say. Oh, they drive. <laughs> <laughs> because I don't break. Oh. That's the problem. I don't break. I put my foot down and like I don't. she does in real life. <laughs> <laughs> hey. But do you know what? I've got two questions that I really wanted to answer in my vlog. Are they not here? I, f I don't think I wrote them down. Do you know what they are? One is... Someone asked about my tattoos and nursing if you're allowed. Oh, yeah. I Go on then. Tattoo. So, Claire, are you allowed <laughs> tattoos in nursing and how do they affect your work? That's oh. a great question. <laughs> <laughs> this is hilarious. Oh, God, I have to, like... This is how you turn a professional nurse into an absolute fool. <laughs> Okay, so I am sorry, like for anyone that's you know, we're just we're having lols right now. Yeah, you gotta chill out sometimes. Yeah. So I know there were, there was a, a question, um, and I was gonna do a whole vlog on tattoos and nursing, but I literally just haven't got round it round to it. You all have so, tattoos. Yeah. The the short answer again is yes, you're allowed tattoos as a nurse as long as they're professional, not professional, but as long as they're not offensive. Yeah. Um, you can have tattoos and. In fact, even in where in the trust that I in the trust that I work in, um, it's actually in the policy that you can have tattoos as long as they're not offensive to anybody, and you might get asked to cover them up if they are offensive. So, do you know what? Right, people say to me uh, from from my perspective, mm. as a healthcare assistant um, in the nursing world, they say to you in your interview. I mean, not all of them, but some of them say to you in your interview. Oh, you're gonna have to cover those up. Mm. But you know what? When yeah. you actually start work, you don't. No, you don't. I've never, <laughs> covered, I've never covered. They any tell you in your interview, but trust me, you no. don't have to cover no. them up because no one actually cares. I've never covered any of mine up, and no one's ever said anything about my tattoos. No. So. Okay, question for you. Yes. Oh, there's actually a Nikki. question. Yeah, this is one that I yeah, want to answer. Nikki Bedwell. Hi, so, Nikki. Nikki Bedwell asks. If you were depressed and a kid was the only person to help you, would you let him help you? This is a very... Because this works from both our perspectives, mm. actually. Um, because I think I've thought... When I, I saw all these questions before I did this, before I did this um, video, and I thought about this one really hard, and I thought if they're a family member or someone that you've known for a long time, and if they're a mature... Because there are kids that are really mature for their mm. age. Yeah, that's Like, true. super mature. If they know what they're talking about, listen to them. Mm. Like, if they're going to offer you advice, listen to the kid. But if they're really young and really don't know what they're talking about, mm. then just, I would seek, I would seek sort of more professional help. Yeah. But if you trust the child, if you're close to them, if they're a family, like, for instance, um, I've, I've got, you know, a cousin, I've got a brother, and they're both, like, ten years younger than me. And I would listen to them mm. because even like, even if it was 10 years ago, 
because even though they're kids, I know them and they're mm. my family, and they under if that person understands you, and understands what you're going through and can kind of empathize and sympathize, do it. Like you know, it's not going to hurt. But if they're a kid that plays Fortnite, um. <laughs> No offence to kids that play Fortnite. No, no offence. <laughs> <laughs> my, my channel will know why I'm like, <laughs> saying that because I hate that. Get, yeah. I can't play it. Um, but no, if, if they're a kid that really hasn't, that really isn't kind of that mature in the mind and doesn't really have that experience, mm. that they're not going to know what they're talking about. But if you know them, if they're family, if they know you, um, just listen to your family. That's what I'm going to say. Mm. Regardless of how old they are, listen to them. Yeah. Um, kids are smart. Yeah, kids, kids are getting smarter by the day. Because here's the thing, kids think kind of more rationally. Yeah. You know, weirdly enough, because as adults, we question everything. Yeah, yeah. Oh, but this, oh, yeah. but that. Kids don't have the oh, but thing in their head. They go, oh, this, that, yeah, that. Then they right, go, yeah, oh, but yeah. what if this? Yeah, no, so kids true. don't have that. Like, they just yeah. say it how it is. They do, yeah. You're you right. know? If they go, if they go get a grip, <laughs> yeah, they wouldn't. But, and kids will always hug you. Yeah. Like, so, yeah. Like, it depends who the kid is, basically. L- long story short, it, if, if they're a family member, yes. If they're a random kid, probably not. So, yeah. Good question. Anyway. Uh, Claire. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, this girl. Um, what do you think about... Oh. 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 <laughs> what do you think about nursing apprenticeships? I'm saying oh because... It's what you I told me know, before the video. Yeah, I don't know why, but this is such like a controversial topic sometimes. But how? How is it because controversial? Not from me. This isn't my personal view or opinion. Educate but me. But you go onto Facebook groups, you go onto Twitter... As soon as nurse and apprenticeships mentioned, that's it. They get shot down, and they get so much stick for being Why? a nurse and apprentice. Because these, oh. is it because they do the same work for less money? No, it's not the nurse and apprentice. It's the qualified nurses that have got a problem with it. Right. And the people, the student nurses. Not everyone. Sorry, no offense to everybody, but there are people out there who put nurse and apprenticeships down because they think of it as, um, well, you're not a real nurse, but. You're going to be doing every, all the things that we're doing. And it just seems like people... I don't know why people have got a problem with it. But I don't have a problem with it. Is it kind of related to the discussion we had? Because Claire and I had a discussion earlier. Mm. Now, I've worked in a hospital situation. And it's not in every hospital. Mm. I'm not going to sit here and, like, down talk. Because hospitals do an amazing job. Mm. Like, the nurses that we have in this country are amazing. And they care. <laughs> Claire doesn't care at all. She's so bored of this bored video. Of this conversation. <laughs> but what I've noticed from where from where I live is that I see student nurses, and we discussed this. Um, they get they're not supposed to be um, super, part. We're supposed to be supernumerary. Yeah, they're not supposed to be part of the workforce. Mm. But they get but they get given instead of learning their trade and what they're supposed to be studying, they get put on the ward to do the groundwork. Actual work. Yeah. yeah, not actual work. Sometimes, <laughs> sometimes we are a bit used and abused as student nurses. Yeah, and I mean, is that relatable to that or? Yeah, I I think it is, um, because just from okay, I'm going to talk about my own personal experience of nursing apprenticeships now. Basically, I think it's the nursing apprenticeships an amazing idea, and it's bringing back. We, we hear about this SEN role that they used mm-hmm. to have on the wards. Do you yes, remember? I remember. Yeah. And it's a similar role. So nursing apprenticeships, you get paid a full wage to train, basically, and then when you qualify, you're a band four, which is that band in between a HCA and a nurse. And but they do get a full pay, so it's good for people that have got like a mortgage to pay. They have children, so they can't physically work around the course because they've got that automatic pay, and then they're gonna be that level up from a HCA that they want to be. And when you say HCA, and like if you go on a job site, it will give a band to everything on a job site. Mm. And um, like the lowest band is the HCA, and then you move up. Yeah, but I hate because of HCAs you can be band two and band three. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah. 
Okay, maybe that was and where I was getting confused. And apprenticeships are four. That was where I was getting and confused then, then. The newly qualified nurses are five and then six, seven, Yeah, eight. sorry, that was where I was getting confused, sorry. <laughs> nursing apprenticeship is a brilliant idea for those people that can't afford to do the nursing and it's great for them to grow personally and professionally in their career. But the downside to it, I think, as from what I've seen on the wards, the nursing apprentices that I've seen out there on the wards <coughs> working, they are very much used and abused. They're sort of doing absolutely everything and they just look drained and they look tired because they are used and abused. And I don't think the role is 100% clear yet. There's a lot of miscommunication, I think, about what nursing apprenticeships should be doing. And I agree things like that so I think there's, there's just little glitches but overall I think it's really good I love say glitches as a gaming term <laughs> <laughs> there's a lot of glitches in this but overall I think it's a brilliant role and I think people need to give nursing apprenticeships a chance and stop being so negative about it because it's great for those people that are trying to make a living See, it's tough being a care assistant, but like, um, like sort of lower down the scale. Mm -hmm. As an end, when you first go in, any of you that are like, mm -hmm. for those of you that maybe aren't even a student nurse yet and are thinking about going into student nursing, if you are a HCA, don't let like. I mean, that job is amazing. It's mm -hmm. it's, it's so the best way to learn. Yeah, mm -hmm. but it's hard. It's long hours. You're often not really kind of respected by your seniors. Mm -hmm. Um, you're often kind of taken for granted. Um, don't let it get to you. Don't don't let it ruin, you know, your kind of um, outlook on it. Because the better qualified that you get, like the the kind of, not the easier it gets, but the more mm. the more kind of involved you get, the more fun yeah. it gets, and yeah. and the better pay you get. Because as uh, health persons, we we get like minimum wage for twelve hour shifts, mm. and it's constantly on your feet. But even, even if you're not going to student nursing yet, and you're thinking, oh my God, you know, I've been a HCA for so many mm. years, I'm so tired, I don't know if I want to do this, grind it out and do it, because you won't always be, yeah. like, it's it's a great, I, I can speak from, from personal experience, mm, because yeah. I've done it, yeah. and I love it. The only reason I don't do it um, is because I just kind of, I never wanted a career out of it. No, you didn't, yeah. Um, I loved true. it, I just didn't want to make it a career. So if you're in, I just wanted to add into this vlog, if you're in that, in, in that kind of um, level and you get to the point where you are just physically tired, don't give up. Just, Rest, not quit. Yeah, don't, <laughs> don't give up because you will, if, if you really want it, mm. you'll regret it. That's so true, you will. You will I just regret. wanted to add that yeah. to the bit. Thanks, that was nice. <laughs> nice touch. Okay, Cyber. Cyber, hi, hi Cyber. How was your childhood like? Have you ever had a hate comment so bad that it made you sad? Do you know what? Like, the hate comments, you, my childhood, um, it's hard. I don't really want to talk about it because there's people that watch it's this hard, yeah, watch that are involved. Personal, yeah. yeah. Um, it wasn't the best. I mean, I was homeless from the age of 19 until about the age of about 24. Um, I struggled, but... I worked my ass off to make mm, sure that did, I yeah. kind of like had a roof over my head, I had a job. Um, I did anything to make sure that I could get a job, um, I could have food on the table. Um, but you know, my childhood was great. Um, <laughs> this is a tough question, I don't mm. want to name and shame people. There's mm. one person that was in my mum's life that wasn't a good person. And because of that person, it kind of destroyed mm. the relationship a little bit. But before that, it was amazing. You know, it was like, it was, I played video games, I went outside, I went outside. <laughs> what outside? No one goes outside, no goes outside. There's video we games. We sit in and vlog. <laughs> <laughs> we sit and vlog, make YouTube videos, <laughs> and play video games. Who goes outside? <laughs> Them were the days. I know, we used to oh. go outside until it was dark. and we used to like play. It was so, when I was a kid, it was amazing. Oh. Um, my kind of like, sort of early 20s was difficult. But you've got to just keep on going. Mm. You just have to it go. It makes you stronger. Yeah, exactly. You stronger. You've got to say that today was crap, but today mm. we're better. Tomorrow we're better, yeah. and that's what you've got to keep doing. Yeah. So, like, my childhood was 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 pretty average, I would say. What was the second half of the question? I don't even remember. Now. I got distracted. If you had any hate comments? Oh yeah, all the time. Like, 
I was telling you what they said about the um the mm. the, the raid that we got. Yeah. We got twenty three dislikes because of this troll raid that came in and thank you to my um I'm doing the okay sign. Um, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you to my um, moderators because I don't pay you for what you do. I don't ask you to do what you do. You just do it because you're amazing. Um, they had to put up with so much crap that day. And mm -hmm. in there, you just got to get rid of it. Like, you can block them. You, you can just... Move. You're never going to see these people in your life. And what if it's a real person, though? Like, your neighbour or your work colleague or your friend? It's hard, but you have to just let it go. Mm. You just have to go, do you know Let it go, what? Elsa. Yeah, let it go. <laughs> let, let it go. go. <laughs> Let's not do that. No. <laughs> <laughs> because at the end of the day, um, you're better. You are better than them. Mm. If, you, if you're the one to walk away and just let it go, <laughs> you are better than them. Because at the end of the day, they have the problem, not you. It's true. Like, it's a reflection of themselves, not of you. Exactly. They're the ones that are the horrible person. If you just go, do you know what? I haven't got the energy all the time. Just, it's difficult. It is hard, yeah. It but I think hard. as you get older, you learn how to cope mm -hmm. more. And I've gotten to the point now, you know, you know, being the age that I am, where I just go, I don't care what you think. You can call me fat. You can call me ugly. You can call me whatever you want. I don't care. I really it's don't. It's the best way to be. It's just like, you know, mm -hmm. yeah. Anyway. anyway, I've got a lot of questions about placements, so I am going to do a whole vlog purely for placements, and I'll answer the questions in that vlog within the next week or two. Next question. <laughs> okay, this is pretty good actually because we discussed this before the stream, yeah, didn't we? Yeah. So and and to be fair, I think I could kind of chip on this. Yeah, you'd be good to chip in on this. Um, so difference between mental health and adult nursing. Yeah. So adult nursing is. It's general nursing Generic, with isn't adults, it? but you will come into contact with mental health patients as well as yeah. an adult nurse. Quite a rise in mental health, I think. So just because you're an adult nurse doesn't mean you're not going to see the other fields of nursing. And then mental health is specific to different mental health conditions. They don't have to be adult. They don't well. have to be adult, yeah. I looked after a young girl. Um, I'm not going to mention her name, obviously. She was 19 years old and I was working in the hospital uh, as an agency worker. And she, I got told that she was on one to one care because uh, have I told about this? I think I have. She Possibly. jumped. She jumped off a bridge mm. to try and take yeah. her own life. Mm. She survived at nineteen years old. Mm. Like, like to feel like your life isn't worth it at nineteen is is devastating. It's, I don't even know how people like at nineteen. She's barely yeah. lived, and she survived. Um, she broke both her ankles, and the nurses didn't know what to do. Because none of them were mm. mental health trained. And they, the there was three of them stood at her door, just looking at her and talking. Mm. And I was like, what are you doing? She wasn't allowed out of her room. She wasn't allowed in the bathroom on her own. She'd made Bad. multiple attempts at her life. Um, and they said, right, you know, you can... They went to me, just go in there and sit in there. And I was like, no. Mm. So I said to those three women at the door, the nurses, I went, move. <laughs> they went... Pardon? <laughs> I went, leave. I said, Walk just... I said, don't turn around. <laughs> You're not welcome anymore. I said, just go. And um, I shut the door and I sat in there. And within five minutes, I had her talking. Mm -hmm. And she was allowed to go out. She gave me... She was going to swallow some batteries because mm -hmm. the stomach acid... They would, do, yeah, they yeah. She gave them to me. She was hiding them in her bum. Oh. <laughs> I know, right? And she gave them to me. And I took her out. We went out for a walk went around the hospital and she she's amazed she's doing very well now she's doing amazingly well and mm -hmm. i've taken up the question i'm sorry um okay. but it doesn't matter how old yeah. you are you can have mental health at any age yeah so sorry continue claire so difference between mental health and adult nursing sorry i took over that a little bit so the difference is mental health is purely for mental health yes and the sort of placements you will get will be mental health placements so you could be in a prison um, you could be one to one basis in the one home. to one in a home. Um, you might be on some sort of lockdown ward. Yeah. What are they called? Secure. Like a, you might be on a secure, secure unit. unit. Yeah. That will be really specific to mental health. Whereas as an adult nurse, you will deal with a whole variety of adults, which Normally might include mental home. health. Which could be hospitals, nursing homes. You could be based anywhere, basically. 
But they're the main differences, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so we've got one last question. So, Claire. Yes. <laughs> how hard is it to make friends at uni? Again, it depends on you and how you are. Before starting university, I was very socially awkward. <laughs> um, and it took me probably a month to speak to anybody at university, I'm not going to lie, because I was really socially awkward and I found it really hard to approach people and I was always constantly worrying what people thought about me, so I kept myself to myself and luckily someone came up to me and said, do you want to come and sit by us? And that was it. Mm. I had my friends for life. But how hard is it to make friends at uni? It's going to be really easy to make friends at uni because most people are in the same boat. Everyone's doing this alone. Um, there's only like a few people that I've found have joined university together and gotten the same course together. So everyone's in the same boat. Everyone's looking for new friends and you end up working in such small groups anyway. You will get to know each other a lot better. And you do. You make friends. So it's not too scary then? It's not too scary. Okay. It is on the first day, but it's not too scary. Yeah. You, you get over it. I think it is anywhere on the first day. The first day is nerve wracking because you anywhere don't know anyone, is, though, and you go in, you don't know where the room is, and it's just like, oh my god, what am <laughs> I going to do? What's going to be expected of me? But no, it's all right. You'll be all right. You'll be okay. You'll smash it. Yeah, you'll smash, you'll it. smash it. You don't need to worry about it. I want to ask this though. Do you choose placement? Oh yeah. Good question. So I don't know if all universities do this, but I know some do, and our our university definitely do. You don't as such choose your placement, but they give you a preference list to where you might want to work. So it'll be top three and they try to they try to honour that for second and third year. And then on your management placement, I think you get to pick where you'd like to go for your management placement, which is your last placement. Okay. So like work experience in year 10 or year 9? Yeah. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> I'm only kidding. Um, so that yeah. It? Is that all the questions? Anyway, I think that's, that's it, guys. Um, thank you very much for yeah. hanging out with us. It's been, we are tight. What time is it? It is like, it's Gone ridiculous wide. in the morning. It's quarter past one in the morning. Um, so I'm going to... What gonna time do we start vlogging? Half eleven? Uh, yeah. An hour and 45 minutes vlogging. That's not even vlogging. That's just doing the Q&A. That's just doing a Q&A. Q &A. An hour and 45 minutes <laughs> doing Q&A. Um, Claire's got a lot of headspace here. But it's fine. I'll forgive her. <laughs> Eat it, learn to, you know. Yeah. Anyway. Anyway, thank you very much, anyway. guys, for joining us. Um, thank you so much. I have been a uh, chaotic gamer girl. Link uh, in the description. And she is Claire Carmichael, second year student nurse. Link Soon to be third year. <laughs> link in the description below. Um, so yeah. Anyway, um, if you enjoy gaming, um, if you're interested in just seeing some really fascinating vlogs, yeah, check us both out yeah. because you know go for if you're on my channel, go follow Emma because she is hilarious to watch and really good live streaming. She's so lying. Go and have a look. Go <laughs> check her out. And if you're on mine, literally, even if you're not into like nursing, literally just go and check her out because yeah. she's got some such good knowledge. Give it a go. And she's it regardless of whether you're a nurse, just tips on revising. Yeah. And how to kind yeah. of take in knowledge because this girl is the best person I know at revising. I'm don't, a good reviser. reviser. Don't ever ask me. I'll just say just like have popcorn and watch movies before oh, the night. Popcorn, yeah. I'm terrible. Popcorn helps with revision. <laughs> Does it actually? <laughs> <laughs> anyway guys. Anyway. <laughs> take it easy. Peace out and keep going. I love you. Goodbye.